Welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So yeah, as you guys can see, just leaving the house, uh, running late. And, um, you know, last night was pretty interesting. Okay, I got in the house and after I finished uploading my video, you know, because again, they try to deter me. All right, so what they'll do um, as I uh, open up the YouTube app and go to add a video, they will use the police sirens, right? And uh, again, trying to deter me after running their Saps campaign on the way home. And, uh, you know, I still upload it. Like I said, I don't let that uh, prevent me from uploading the videos because again I know uh, that this it is a tactic which to intimidate uh, to make you uh, afraid of exposing them and what it is that they're doing right and so I just continue to upload it and I just say hey whatever happens happens that way you know it, it it helps me to not be intimidated by what it is that they're doing and whatever subliminal message they negative subliminal message they want to send All right so again anyhow so you see they're not as active as they used to this unless you're doing the staring you see the eyes sticking the tongue out all right, so she's not doing the hand movements. What they do is the eyes staring and sticking their tongue out. <laughs> oh, fuck, is it so funny? I opened up the door and I saw him standing out there. Uh, you, know, you guys didn't see it because I, I didn't record it. I should have. And I saw him standing out there and then he sees me, he walks like he's walking past the store. So I opened the door, I said, Are you coming in? And he just snapped out of whatever trans he was in and he was like yeah he was literally walking past the store but i saw him sta staring at me in the store wanted to see if he's going to say no or yes and obviously he turned back and came into the store while well, i hold the door for him so again I tell you when they're in this mode that they're being targeted uh you know there's somewhat like in a hypnotic trance all right so yeah so, yep, woke up late this, this today. Um, actually, when I looked at my phone, look at the time, I thought it said 11, uh, 11, a little after 11. Uh, so, made breakfast, sat down, finished eating breakfast. I, had, I looked at the time again, I said, okay, let me get out of here. It should be around after 12 or so, a little after 12. It was like after two. And then, because uh, there's really, barely anybody in the house, just me and my nephew. I had to uh, install this um, surge protector uh, that fits on the uh, outlet socket on the wall. So um, I had to I had ordered longer screws because the one that it came with wasn't long enough. And so and I had to turn off the uh, circuit. So I had to figure out which circuit is in is my bedroom. So after I figured that out, I turned that circuit off and then I installed the uh, wall uh, surge protector, which is a which is a which is probably the better option if you let's say if you're using like a surge protector on the floor, right? So they have the wall uh, surge protectors, right? They're, they're small, but you know, they screw into the little screw in the middle. If you, let's say you have two outlets, uh, there's a screw in the middle that holds the wall plate. And so you unscrew that and then you screw the, there's a screw that comes with the wall surge protector. If it's um, uh, long enough, you can just screw it in. And that gives you extra outlets, right? Plus you can also, plus they come with, um, some of them come with USB uh, ports. So you can get like a six port uh, wall outlet protector with like three USB uh, regular USB port and then one with a USB-C 
or you can have just all just regular USB port. So that turn that works out pretty fine because particularly with my daughter, uh, I I was so afraid of her uh, spilling liquid on the surge protector underneath her desk. And I tried different things. I tried uh, to stick it, stick the, stick the wall, the surge protector underneath her desk. That didn't quite work. She somehow found a way to, you know, uh, to take it down. And this is a very powerful stick Velcro um, straps, right? With glue in the bottom of it. And so, you know, when I saw that, I was like, gee, why didn't I see this before? You know? And I replaced her surge protector on the floor with the one from the wall. And that worked out pretty well. So, I ordered a couple, they're not expensive, you can get them for like um, uh, anywhere, anywhere from $11 to all the way up to like $16 or so. White guy just walked past me and, and st stick his finger uh, on his forehead. Yeah, he, they're going to assassination plot, but I'm doing it in the middle finger. Yeah, because they don't want me to talk about it. So. Yeah, I'm giving them the middle finger. Yeah, it's a blue folder. Anyway, fuck these motherfuckers. Anyhow, uh, as I was saying, because they want to silence me, and I'm not being silenced, I'm going to continue to expose all this shit. So, they feel they got assassinated to shut me up, that's what they're going to do. Alright, I'm not afraid of death, I'm not afraid of them. Okay? So, they know what they can do. Um, anyhow, so, look, American flag, she sticks her hand. I think in her ear. Actually, because she got her ear, but so anyhow, um, yeah. So once I replaced her stress protector, I felt so much better, you know. And so now um, I can't do Ethan's uh, because on the Ethan desk doesn't have a stress protector. But I did buy my stress protector where I can attach it to the his, his desk. Right, so um, that works out fine for him, and you know, uh, did the same thing in my uh, apartment where in the kitchen, you know, they always plug stuff in and out of that one particular outlet because only have two plugs in it. So I had to um, install one there. I installed a six uh, plug one with the USB because they always charge the devices, in there. and on top of that, they always take in the the, uh, the base of the, uh, the USB. So anybody comes there, they'll steal the base, right? The charger base. So that eliminates that, all right? And then I had bought one for my bed, uh, for my computer. Uh, on the my computer, there's, there's a certain system. There's a wall out there. There's only two prong. So I bought one with the two prong, but it, it wouldn't stay in. It keep falling out. Um, and I couldn't, I only, found one that has the two crown and then you know it has a three crown outlet there's like about I think it's like either four or five there so I was able to find one but the screw was too short so I had to order longer screws which worked out pretty well because that one worked and so now I can plug stuff in there and it has USB ports in there so it just it just makes it a lot better that's to happen um, you know, uh, an, an outlet on the floor. Uh, plus, I mean, I do have a, an outlet attached to it because I have a, a, a cable um, uh, system underneath my desk, which the uh, surge protector is on it. Because, you know, I just I have a lot of plugs. I have lights, I have uh, multiple. I have my old PC uh, there too, which I'm trying to see. Um, I was actually trying to see if I could donate it. But it's you know it's, it's a heavy PC, so it's, it's my I had this PC for like over um, twelve years now, right? So twelve years I had that I had that computer, and uh, I replaced it when I built my computer about uh, two years ago uh, when I was going to school. I had to buy a new computer for my bedroom uh, because you know it's because of COVID the situation was a little bit. Um, different had people coming in and out of the house without any mask and you know particularly when I was in class I just didn't want to get to so I had to build a new piece of, uh, for my bedroom 
which I use also as my home theater. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, that's about it. But yeah, despite my targeting, like I said, I still do these things. Well, you know. you do it, Though it took me, you know, it takes me a little longer, like I said, sometimes a lot longer, depending on what it is. And, um, you know, because I always got to watch it from my back, right? So, uh, that's what I got to do. So anyhow, back to my targeting. So they can uh, send all the threats they want. Uh, don't give a shit. Uh, like I said, I'm on my purpose. One of my purpose is exposing these motherfuckers. And excuse the language.